I'm gonna continue my series of breakup videos and today's heartbreak is that I have to break up with chapters in Indigo. I've had a very long relationship with that corporation, probably spent 10 to $20,000 on books. I love going into the store and browsing. I love finding books that I didn't know existed because I'd go from department to department. It was a special thing to me. But unfortunately, I'm breaking up with them because they have succumbed to the political correct woke mob and are not putting books on their shelves that are important to balance the scales of information. Specifically, there's a book in Canada that's on the best-selling list called The Freedom Convoy, right? And it's speaking to that event in which many working class people went to Ottawa to protest vaccine mandates. Now, I'm on, not on either side of that debate, but I thought that that protest was important to Canada. It allowed working class people to voice a concern. Uh, we were able to see the government government's response, which wasn't that good, I think. And it's very important for Canadians to know that probably for the first time ever, the government initiated the Emergency Measures Act, which allowed them to freeze the bank accounts of citizens protesting. That is something we need to know about. We need to know why the banks were uh, compliant with the government. This is a huge thing that has resulted in billions of dollars leaving Canada to go internationally because everywhere outside of Canada, they can't believe that happened. The Freedom Convoy had some issues with some fringe elements. I think very much like the Black Lives Matter movement, fringe elements can cause a problem, but it doesn't remove the need to understand the issues. But when our bookstore, when our Canadian bookstore won't put it on the shelves so that people can read it because they don't like the politics of it, that's a damn problem. We want to have informed policy decision, decisions. We want our citizenry to be exposed to a, a spectrum of ideas it's ironic, it's upsetting, and it's unforgivable that Chapters in Indigo has a diversity section in their bookstore, but won't hold a diversity of opinions.